Welcome to Miss Martin Muses. Welcome to Miss Martin Muses, where we muse upon what makes me laugh, makes me cry, makes me happy, makes me sad, or just really ticks me off. Today, we're once again going to be talking about something that makes me very happy and a little bit sad, but then happy again. It is the life and works of Robert Jordan, the man who wrote The Wheel of Time. Robert Jordan was the pen name of James Oliver Rigney Jr. He lived from 1948 to 2007. He was born and raised in Charleston, South Carolina, and it was in South Carolina where he passed away. Jordan was also raised as a Christian in the Episcopalian tradition, a faith to which he remained till his death. Robert Jordan served two tours in Vietnam as a helicopter gunner, for which he was highly decorated, including the Distinguished Flying Cross and Vietnamese Gallantry Crosses. When he returned home, he studied at the Citadel Military College. His major was physics. After graduation, he worked as a nuclear engineer. It was at this time that he began to write. His first novel, Warrior of the Altai, was rejected. It would be published after his death. But his second book, and what would become his first published historical romance, was The Fallen Blood, writing as Reagan O'Neill. It was edited by Harriet McDougall, who would later become his wife. As Jackson O'Reilly, he wrote westerns, the first of which, The Cheyenne Raiders. And then he burst onto the scene as Robert Jordan, writing tales of Conan the Barbarian, the sword and sorcery hero created by Robert E. Howard. These were published between 1982 and 1984. In the years that followed, he began to write an epic fantasy story, The Wheel of Time, the first book of which was The Eye of the World published in 1990. It became a phenomenon. The entire series would encompass 14 books and one prequel. Robert Jordan said in interviews that he enjoyed writing fantasy because it was a genre in which he could write about good and evil, quote unquote, with a straight face. Jordan loved keeping in touch with his fans, meeting them at conventions, and updating them on his blog. It was there that a devastating entry was made on March 23rd of 2006. Robert Jordan told his fans that he was incredibly ill. He had cardiac amyloidosis. Quote, I am set up for treatment, which expands my median life expectancy to four years. This does not mean I have four years to live. Sadly, he had about a year and a half to live. On September 17th, 2007, his cousin wrote, It is with great sadness that I tell you that the dragon is gone. RJ left us at 2.45 p.m. He fought a valiant fight against this most horrid disease. In the end, he left peacefully and in no pain. He never wavered in his faith, nor questioned our God's timing. I could not possibly be more proud of anyone. Our beloved Harriet was at his side through the entire fight and to the end. The last words from his mouth were to tell her that he loved her. His funeral was held at St. Germ's Episcopal Church in Goose Creek, South Carolina. He was buried in the church cemetery. His tombstone reads, James Oliver Rigney, Jr., born October 17, 1948, died September 16, 2007, father, storyteller, soldier, singer. Now that Robert has on, there was one more task. His illness and untimely death made it impossible to complete his epic story. It was his wish that someone else would finish it. He left behind extensive notes, and while he was laying abed with his illness, he orally would describe scenes he envisioned and how he wished for them to be carried out. 
His wife set out to find that special author. She found him in Brandon Sanderson, a great fan of Robert Jordan, an avid reader of The Wheel of Time. When he heard of Robert Jordan's death, he had written a tribute on his blog, which was brought to the attention of Harriet McDougall. She contacted him, and he agreed. The final three novels of The Wheel of Time brought the story to conclusion. Death did not stop his story from being told, and he left for his fans a complete masterpiece. The Wheel of Time turns, and ages come and pass, leaving memories that become legend. Legend fades to myth, and even myth is long forgotten when the age that gave it birth comes again. May James Oliver Rigney Jr. rest in peace. So there it is. There is the life and works of Robert Jordan. In the comments, tell me what I got right, tell me what I got wrong, or what I may have left out. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day. And be certain, be certain to read the works of Robert Jordan. <laughs>